With the wide range of phenomena we can study using physics, it can help to have some context. In this chart, we have various physical quantities that have been quantified within order magnitude. For example, a heartbeat takes about a second or 10 to the zero seconds. If you're a long distance runner, maybe your heartbeat's a little bit slower, but it's probably not 10 seconds between heartbeats. It's probably still closer to a second. So it's on the order of 10 to the zero or order unity. And we can compare that to a year, that's about 10 to the seventh seconds. A human lifetime, 10 to the ninth seconds. So between those, you can already tell that, well, a human lifetime is on the order of 100 years, probably a little bit under 100 years, right? But the average human lifetime is not 10 years and it's not 1,000 years, right? So on the order of 10 to the second, and that's by taking the difference between these two, 10 to the ninth divided by 10 to the seventh. So the, the ratio there gives you 10 to the second. Let's consider something else. How many hydrogen atoms does it take to stretch across the diameter of the Earth? Well, I don't know that. You probably don't know that. But looking in this chart, we can see, all right, the diameter of the Earth is about 10 to the seventh meters. So I can write down, I have about 10 to the seventh meters in a given Earth, right? So that's the diameter of my Earth. And I can then say, for a hydrogen atom, 10 to the minus 10th, so we can divide by 10 to the minus 10th, and that'll be the number of meters that we have per hydrogen. And I'm dividing them so that these meters can't settle out so that we can figure out how many hydrogens there are to span that Earth diameter. So in doing this, the meters cancel out. You've got one over Earth divided by one over hydrogen, so you'll get hydrogen per Earth, and we'll end up with a number That'll be the number of hydrogens that it takes to span one Earth. All right, so number-wise, what we get is we get 10 to the seventh. Now we're dividing by a negative exponent. So when you divide by something with the same base, you can combine these exponents by saying seven minus whatever's on the bottom. So, so this is seven minus, and then on the bottom is minus 10. So minus a negative is the same as adding, so subtracting a negative is the same as addition. So we end up with 10 to the 17th as the number here. So it's on the order of 10 to the 17th. So it's not exactly 10 to the 17th, right? But it's on that order magnitude is what we'd expect. And that would be the number of hydrogens that it would take to span one Earth diameter. Let's try another one. How many protons are there in a bacterium? If we have a certain mass of a proton and a certain mass of a bacterium, we can say that I have 10 to the minus 15th kilograms per bacterium, and then divide that by the 10 to the minus 27th kilograms of a proton, and it not that bacteriums are only protons. So this is just giving us a rough estimate, right? But this will tell us, hey, probably in this range, right? There's gonna be neutrons, electrons, there's gonna be other things. But probably in this range, this again gives us 10 to the minus 15th, minus that minus 27 or plus 27. So plus 27 minus 15 gives us a plus 12. So it's on the order of 10 to the 12th protons per bacterium. 